go to our topic, the post. Ah, oh, I can't read. I wish I could read that, but um, shout out to Bali, man. He did a rally call to the community. I, I can't read. I can summarize it, but I can't. It's too small for me to read. I thought I could, but he said he pretty much he went to a meeting, a town hall meeting or whatever, it's like what the city do, and they vote on stuff. The community come, but he said nobody came. He said I guess he was like to everybody that know me. People who do raps with me and everything. He said, I don't want to hear nobody talking about it. I see you talking positive things. So here's the thing that I want to say, right? Uh, everybody has a different fight, right? Everybody has a different fight. Some people is politics. Some people is stuff in the community. Some people is violence. The thing that, that, that I understand what he's saying. And with that. The thing I will say is the average person in Pulaski County that work eight to four, nine to five. What do y'all think? The last thing they want to do is probably go to these meetings. They probably will want to, but that's the last thing you're thinking about to go to these meetings. Especially if you're a single parent, or I'm just saying the reality of the circumstances that people go through. You think about when you get off work at five. If you, especially if you work at a job, you're on your feet all day. Working like I say, working at Walmart or something, you get off at four five. The last thing you're thinking about doing is going to a, a community meeting. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's unfortunate, but that's just kind of how things are. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause he said like people voted on like uh, police officer signing bonus for like 10k and some other stuff, and they say that's your tax money. But like I say, the average person, man, what y'all think? I don't want to keep talking about it. what y'all think. You know, he's saying that people should come out to those more. Why do you uh, think people don't come out to those more? Uh, probably from the lack of knowledge, man. I didn't know nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? I so, go ahead. Like I said, it's tough to speak on stuff like that because you're kind of like spinning your, spinning your wheels in mud, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, when you when people get off work, I mean, I'm telling you, people get off work. The average person, they just want to go home and chill, man, yeah. and get ready for the next day. Yeah. Let's say the average person. Yeah, I think it's a mixture of both uh, lack of knowledge, lack of exposure, and um, you know, having uh, to deal with things day to day. Like you say, the average yeah. person got so much on their plate to add uh, one more thing, but when you I understand when you didn't see that post or you didn't uh, read about that in the newspaper because you don't read the paper, you're not exposed to it, uh, you don't have the knowledge or the information, you don't seek the knowledge or information. But the average person that doesn't have time for this, that's what affects the most. Uh, if you're, you know, you live in check to check, uh, you in uh, a, min a minority where the police are victimizing you things are happening oppressing you uh things are happening in your community those are the people that don't have time that are too busy they gotta worry about feeding the kids uh yeah. you know food stamps yeah. and things like that those are the yeah. people who yeah. need to be there the most uh, yeah. yeah and you make time you say you, you you're talking about will you know what i mean uh, what do you want to do? What are you willing to sacrifice to make those changes in your personal life? Uh, well, right. it's the same thing for the community. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. all in the for community. Sure. I don't care how rich I get or how much, how many skills I get driving around in black skin, I can get pulled over and be on the concrete, uh, of, get pulled out of my Mercedes, my Jaguar, my Range Rover. I can get pulled out and be on the ground just for the, Cover my skin. So when you say, "Well, uh, these meetings aren't important," or they're not on my radar, if you want things to change, um, you need to be a part of these things uh, and make the time. You made time for what you want. You made time uh, yes. to get your degree. You made time right. to marry your wife. You made time right. uh, to get your kids in private school. You made time mm -hmm. uh, to do this. You made time to move out the hood so you don't want. As a way to right. avoid uh, being oppressed or being stereotyped or being put in one bucket uh, with people, mm -hmm. uh, and you right. did all that when you could have just maybe tried to uh, be a little bit more conscious of what's going on in the community and not just yeah. a mi minority, just a right and wrong uh, or yeah. transparency. 
Yeah, and, uh, no, what the uh, politicians are doing. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, I want to see who who on the board that made this decision. You you got to put the fire to them. Yeah, they they made the decision. We can go well, to Especially if they well, not I, th- I think if you if I think if you go there and if it's enough people there and they don't vote it in, they can't put it in though. And that's what like, he was saying. Like how are we if it's only like everybody's not it, just, I think I think I think they have it on Facebook if you go look for it. The, like who Hey, if, like John said, man, we got so much going on, I'm like Oh, did I, did, but no, but did you go find? Did, did you get a message? Vote. I mean, it's like but but do, no. But saying that ain't my fight. I think like I said before that some people have different fights. Yeah. My fight is to get people to understand. Before I get to politics, I need to get to stability first. I mean, saying and I may it may sound wrong. I don't know. I'm saying everybody has a different fight. You know what I'm saying? And, and guess everybody what? Everybody has a different fight. And you know, you fighting your own like and that's yeah for sure. What you said, I gotta get. Me taking care of first. I gotta get this house, these people, and once I'm good and secure, I can start worrying about the community. Well, guess what? You gotta live in the community while you're getting yourself together. And one, if you let this injustice go on, what's stopping you from being next? You think you're gonna be next in two years, or uh, well, in two years, I'll be in this position so that won't happen to me, or uh, the taxes won't catch up with you. You know what I mean? The ill-trained police, uh, the taxes on the school. Now your school district, like, they took away uh, African-American studies in some states and things like that. Well, you want to be proactive or do you want to be reactive? You know, re- you know, so well, let me I'm ask y'all a question. So. Let me ask y'all a question. If the community, let's say the community, uh, took the, the initiative to to really do their things internally will we even have to do these things like let's say the community if we came together and had our own politics that's not even a part of this I'm talking about just in the community would you even have to worry about those things taxes that's gonna happen you can't change that that's not gonna that's gonna that's gonna oh, happen I'm going. saying but I'm saying as far as community parents teaching their kids what if we had our own african-american studies in the community and not rely on the schools that's what i'm saying yeah i mean that would be great what, i mean what if we, we had our own development what if we had our own development for kids that teach them about career stuff instead of letting the school do it that way we got people to actually work in yeah, that can give same. kids game that's all i'm saying yeah i mean and i agree but um if you don't know who the board members is and and which uh which ward they over or whatever, like they could they, like if you even if you create your own, you still gonna have to work with because they gonna be the ones making the decision too. Also, yeah. So I mean, um, not that's all well and good. You know what I mean? I want yeah. that uh, that place that you're described. Uh, but for the time being. We have to yeah. use their system. We're in yeah. their system. I understand. I understand it. Yeah, for sure. I understand. You know what I mean? Until and then you can only look out for the individual. Like so, I can homeschool my children. I can't homeschool my kids. You know what I mean? I can't start uh, my you know his laws and things in place for me to have a class over X amount uh, for teaching and to be accredited and things like that. There's so many uh, rules and things like that. Uh, when you're talking about the community it starts uh it's a big group we're all a community so it starts with the smaller groups even the houses on your street if you can start with the hey us four houses we're going to do things and then you eventually incorporate the neighborhood so the neighborhood is represented by these group of people you know you have uh many hands uh make you know uh heavy work like you know what i mean yeah so So if it you uh, have yeah, to put yeah, even at the school, everybody that's going to school, all these parents, we got a, a parent that collects all the information, this and that. He distributes this to his small group of people and things like right. that. But it's smart with smaller groups, you know what I mean? Yeah. Every, nobody can do it. We can't just be all united one day. Hey, yeah. just let's do this. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, and I my, mean, just getting united is a hard. Go ahead, Pip. Yeah, yeah, yeah my, 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 and my biggest thing is, um, the people that's over them wars, 
do they even stay in them? That's why I'm, that's why I be trying to figure out no. even stay well, in you them. Why you think the person's over Southwest stay in Southwest? You must that's, be crazy. You see, what, you see what I'm saying? And then you got those people, you know, making those decisions, eating. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just like I say, like I said, I think as a community man, like, if we don't problem. unite, if we don't unite as a community, we just going there all divided and separated. Is is a lot of stuff. Every you get, you gotta unite as a community first before you start going into here and making demand. I mean, that's like the like just simple steps. Like, think about this as a community, a, a perfect world. If the community came together and we minimize the violence that's in the inner city community. Would the police even be a factor? Yeah. I mean, yeah, think about that. Yeah, Would they even yeah. be a factor? They, they, they'll still be a factor because... Uh, they wouldn't come. They wouldn't have to come because there wouldn't be no violence. I mean, he's talking about a real community self-policing and everybody's, you know, uh, you yeah, know doing the right still, thing. Kumbaya, still, neighborhood watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because when you... Lives, but, but it's easy to outcast those... Uh, uh, those perverse or sexual deviance because we're as a community we're frowning upon stealing acts of perversion and things like that and we're kind of self-regulating ourselves and knowing these things are but it's not it's it's not the perverse or the deviance that's getting killed on the ground though it's not the perverse or deviance though but the deviance i mean you you have a uh, skewed uh sense of uh morality uh that makes you a deviant and then makes you think, hey, I don't have to buy this. I can steal this. So. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you, I thought you were saying deviant as far as like like say pedophilia and stuff like that. No, I thought you were talking about know, that. I mean, okay. Anything that's uh, uh, morally wrong or criminal, we yeah. are okay. self-policing. Yeah. We're, we're kind of through positive behavior. We're kind of getting that out. Uh, you look like an oddball when you're sitting there and you're the only one cussing. You're the only one smoking. You're the only one thinking about us uh, you know i mean that's what you know you say but uh that's just not how things work people yeah. work within themselves and their families first i'm gonna build me up and then i'm gonna help yeah. them you yeah. know what i mean yeah. but that's not and what then, happens um, they build themselves well, gotta, and they remove themselves from the situation so they have a different yeah. community that's the cycle if you do enough self-improvement you don't help the community you get out of the community i mean i don't blame people and i don't think it's Right or wrong, but you got to do what's best for you. And that's but the thing is, I'll say two things, right? When you go to uh, other communities, I've just noticed this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. The proximity of like police precincts and stations between each other is like very vast. Like if you go down Cantrell, it's like it's like one police station at Pinky or something, Pinky or something like that. Yeah, but that's I don't even know where the next. I don't even know where the next precinct is. I think there's a couple of fire stations out there, but yeah, because. Cause ain't much going on out there like that. Exactly, that's what. And, I'm the and then another thing, what? The properties are spread out. They don't. There's not a lot of housing projects or not that's a lot right. of apartments. Period. I mean, it's designed yeah, like. There's yeah. a lot of apartments on Cancer. Listen, oh, let me tell you <laughs> that what, what what's going on is what people don't. I already saw it like some years ago. All the violence is moving out west. Guess what's happening? Everybody moving back east now. Hey, and buying up them, them broken down houses. Yep. I'm, I'm, I, I <laughs> live in Old Rock, so I be seeing. Like, oh wow, this is it's different. Man, ain't nobody, ain't house. nobody moving out the Dixie, bro. They ain't buying houses in Dixie, bro. Man, what? Man, you crazy? You said, you said, you said Dixie. You know but, what Dixie is? Yes, and I'm trying to tell you. We gotta use the four. I mean. Look, they I mean, uh, it's misdirection, and don't, yeah. don't, hey, oh, yeah. don't, don't, you know what I mean, but. Hey, I'm riding yeah, around the like back roads. I'm seeing it with my own two eyes, bro. I'm seeing but, it. But yeah. that's another thing, too. Like, you talking about other communities. What happens is uh, people from uh, one uh, bad community, all right, they start uh, elevating, get more uh, in education skills, they start elevating themselves. Instead of helping that community, they just move to the uh, another community. The community that you say, oh, this community is so wonderful. They don't have these problems of my community. Instead of fixing your community, you just move in or assimilate into theirs. 
and that's all that happens. You graduate I'm, from a bad community and go to the a good community, and then you start being a community. How much? How much do it take? How like how much do it take to help people though? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, look, hey, look, I don't, I don't have the answers. I'm just like that. No, I'm not saying you got the answer. I'm just trying to give you the picture. That's why some people do it. It's like it if I'm only making, it, if I make, if somebody gets to, let's say, if somebody make fifty thousand a year and they just got enough to move out, can they move out uh, or can they still live there and still yeah. reach back and help the community? Can they yeah. afford it? Yes, yeah, helping people don't. It don't. It's not all about just how much money you got. You can but help you got people. it costs stuff costs money no, though. That's an adult. It is a, the thing. Hey, going to the look, going to them community meetings uh, would be a way yes. to uh, help and re enrich yeah. uh, your community, and that doesn't right. cost anything. But right. you know, soon you, you know. get the fifty, you get the hundred thousand dollar salary. You're not staying in community A to help community A, even if it costs you know your house is. Well, we've said this on the podcast. A lot of people leave the community and they say they got to figure out like I did, right? They got to figure it out like I did. They, a lot of people say that. You hear that kind of sentiment yeah. going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm Man, you got to figure out like I did. You got to. But and then on the that. other side of the coin, times just change too. We both know this. If you, if in the hood, you know, you see you with a certain amount of money, they're going to look at you as food, right or wrong. Huh? What you say is if you got a certain amount. Of money. If they if they think if they deem you got a certain amount of money or they deem you valuable, you could become food, right or wrong. Depending on the area, yeah. But if you <laughs> but if you tap in yeah. like that, yeah, if you tap in, you know, if you tap in like that, you can still die. Was was Young Dolph tapped in? Yeah. And what but happened? That, the streets. That, that, the street? No, that's no, that's a different. That's a different kind of. You know, that's a different kind of. That's beef. That ain't, yeah. that ain't just food. That's beef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they, they didn't rob, you know, they didn't take. Uh, they, they didn't, didn't take, take nothing from. They didn't take no money. So a lot of people. It's a lot of people tapped in, man. He, they, he came, man. Sometimes but, you can still go back to the hood, but you can't be in the. He gonna be food, man. Yeah. We know this. I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna say, talk about it too much, but then you become food, man. You start smelling good, like boy, that chicken coming down the street. Yeah, but that's man. That's when you brag and be boasters about this stuff. Like people see it, like yeah, they see yeah. it. But if you if you do like like normal people, you mind your business. You can help out, but you ain't gotta. Hey man, I really got a hundred thousand in the safe. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what I'm saying is to help somebody, yeah. and then the patience that you gotta have. Number one, you gotta have a lot of patience, and because it may not work the first few times you do it. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like it's like us telling kids, you know, hey, you can do a trade, you can do all that. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to do all that. It may take ten times to tell them that before they really figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people just don't have that kind of patience. You know? uh, when 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 a person when a person ready, they'll they'll come to you or they'll they'll oh, yeah. start seeking seeking uh knowledge about it. But um, uh, yeah. I know it's a tough topic, but I'm glad yeah. we talked about it. Though. Yeah, we can go. We talked about that for hours.